students, this is Mrs. Gifford, and I am going to talk to you real quick about um, problem 25 of lesson 913. So why don't you take a quick second to pause your video and label your paper 913 and then problem 925. Okay, we're back. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is one vocabulary term, and it's about absolute value. And we briefly talked about that the first day of unit 10. But just as a quick reminder for you to put on your paper, uh, the absolute value is the numerical value of a number without its sign, and it can represent the distance on a number line between a number and zero. So again, pause your video real quick, put your definition of absolute value on your paper, um, and then we will get to problem 25. Okay, so we are back, and this is problem 25, and as you see, it is an absolute value problem, and we know that because it has these vertical lines um, around the 3x minus 5. They look similar to parentheses, but they are the absolute value symbol, and we know that there are two numbers that have an absolute value of 16. I know that the absolute value of 16 is 16, and I know the absolute value of negative 16 is 16. So what we can do is take this particular problem and we're going to split it into two problems. I know the inside of that absolute value symbol can be positive 16, but I also know the inside can equal negative 16. So we take both cases, bring them both out of the absolute value, and then we are going to solve them using zero pairs. Um, and fooling to help us figure out what, to, uh, what the answers are. So again, the first thing we have to do is remove this zero pair of minus 5, and we know that we're going to add 5 to both sides. Again, if you're not, just like in class, whatever's on the board should end up on your paper. So if that means you need to pause real quick to get caught up, please do so. Otherwise, if you are on pace uh, with what I'm writing, let's just continue. So we know that negative 5 and positive 5 make a 0 pair. I have not used this 3x yet. And 16 plus 5 does give us 21. And then we need to take these 21 and split them up into groups of 3. So we divide both sides by 3. That leaves us with 1x. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. So what we are saying here is that 7 is one of the solutions to the absolute value of 3x minus 5 is equal to 16. And we can check that by substituting it back in and checking to see if this really is 16. Well, I know 3 times 7 is 21, and I know 21 minus 5 is 16. And the absolute value of 16 is 16. So we know that that's one of the solutions. Notice I simplified everything inside that absolute value symbol, just like it was parentheses. And then we talk about the absolute value of it. Okay, now let's solve the second case, where we know this information on the left is going to equal negative 16. And the nice thing about this is that the steps are exactly the same. I add 5 to remove that 0 pair. I bring my 3x down. Negative 16 plus 5 is negative 11. And I'm going to divide again both sides by 3. And in this case, 3 does not go into negative 11 evenly. So I'm actually just going to leave it as a fraction so I can do my check just a little bit easier. So I substitute that negative 3 11 back into, oops, negative 11 thirds, excuse me, back into the original problem, and we're checking to see if this really does equal 16. Well, I can put a 1 underneath the whole number, and we can cross cancel. So that actually gives us negative 11 minus 5, which gives us the absolute value of negative 16. And we've already talked about the fact that this does equal 16. So I know that I have done both problems correctly. 
Now, so in this case, we would say the two solutions, or x, is going to equal 7 and negative 11 thirds. I would make sure, or I would caution you to keep those fractions, um, keep those answers as fractions, because if it's a repeating decimal and you go back to check your answer, it might have an impact on your final answer and they might not look exactly the same. So that is problem 25, and now what you are going to do is show your notes, and then you are going to get a sheet that will help you finish today's classwork problem.